textures. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use gradients, Photoshop gradients, to create displacement maps, which can be used to distort uh, images, text, as well as apply glass distortions, and so much more, as well as textures. Right, I've got a document opened here already. It's uh, 500 by 500. Now, of course, you could uh, use any size. I think small sizes are fine, like uh, 300 by 300. Depends really what you want to do. So I'm just going to now go over to the gradient tool. And I've already got some gradients over here. These are gradients from graphicextras.com. 32,000 different gradients. Don't have to use them. Obviously, you could just use uh, your own created gradients. Now, gradients are grayscale. So image mode, I'm just going to put it in grayscale, discard. Unfortunately at that point the gradients don't turn into grayscale. Still colour, but of course when you apply them they're actually applied as grayscale. Now I like the to create displacement maps because I want them to be dis, sort of uh, seamless designs. I'm using the reflected one there, reflected gradient, and I'm just going to now just hold down the shift so it actually becomes straight across, straight up, and I just can apply. Now, the gradients I'm using have actually got transparency, that's why they don't go off the edge, so there's no sort of damage to the seams. And I'm just going to click on there, and you can just see transparency. So basically that area, that's the area that's actually you can see there, just at that point. So. Of course, you can add different things. You can put black there as well. So, And I can now just apply another one. So you can quickly do this. You can just quickly create different designs. Of course, you can use different blending modes as well. I mean, that will again obey the seams of the uh, design if you just apply across. And now, if you want to create more interesting designs than just creating this, you can actually go to the Filter, Other, Offset, and I'm just going to put minus 250 and 250 and OK. And then you can continue to, it's just moved the actual design by 250 and 250 the other way. So you just continue. And again, you can apply the offset again, so it shifts again. And again, it obeys the seams. So you just quickly did create this design. Of course you can create thousands and millions of different designs. Very quick and easy using this approach. Right, once you've actually done this, you can now go to the file, save as, and I'm just going to quickly save it to my desktop. I'm just going to call it untitled. Save. Now, I could of course just go and create an image. I'm just going to open a new document and just quickly apply the same gradient and you can just see that just quickly apply that now go to the filter distort and displace and there's different obviously different settings here you can do the different scales stretch tile etc so I'm just gonna just go with default click OK and desktop select the file I've just created open and straight away you can do that and of course you can apply it again and you can also use in the distort so use the filter gallery I should say just go to the filter gallery and glass you can go over to the right side here load texture and I'm just going to select again displacement map click OK load and there you are, you've actually got the line displacement map that was created using the reflected gradient. So it's a quick, easy way of creating. And I'll just quickly show you change the smoothness, scaling, click OK. And of course, you can apply that again and create well, really unusual designs very quick and easy using those displacement maps. Right, I hope you found this tutorial of interest and uh, you'll subscribe to my Graphic Extras channel. And uh, anyway, thank you much for listening to the tutorial.